There was a. Did you guys see the article uh, about the kid that got the that giant buck stolen off their property? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And that thing was a giant too. Oh, it was a big deer. Yeah. Had like I, all kinds of kickers and drop a drop time. I thought I read it was his first deer. You well, know what the good he, thing is? He took a picture of it after he killed yeah. it, but then he had gone back to the uh, to the house. Mm-hmm. You know, to get to get the stuff to go fetch the deer, or whatever. It's on his own property. And yeah. come back and the deer's gone. Yeah. It sounded like they, they, him and his dad may have been hunting together and he went to get his grandpa or something um, and get stuff to get the deer and take care of it and got back and it wasn't there. But uh, it, they got it back pretty quick, though. Like, um, seemed like I, you know, I don't, there wasn't much details in the article about how they got it back, but it was shared on Facebook a whole bunch of times and then. Um, yeah, anybody yeah, who crazy. steals a trophy deer is stealing it to brag. So when they brag, they're going to get caught because nowadays yeah. that's like wildfire. Yeah. And I think that person didn't realize that the person had pictures of that buck. Yeah. Those pictures, a picture of antlers is so identifiable. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it wouldn't take very long, I guess, for uh, for that to come out. In this world, at least, you know, it's like it's on social media and stuff. So. You yeah, heard it was it was shared over four thousand times on social media. Yeah, we got to add just, Dave now. I just don't understand. Hey, Dave. hey, Dave, you're on I mute, Dave. I don't understand the purpose behind stealing something like that because, I mean, what do you do? You take that deer head home, and and, and what do you tell your friends that you shot it and brag that you shot it, and you got to come up with a story and yep. You know, where do you get where do you get any kind of pride out of something like that? I just it just some people are prideless. Yeah, it's 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 hard to fathom. It yeah. really is. Yeah, I bet he felt pretty bad too when he found out some little some boy shot out for his first buck, you know. Yeah. Hey, I Dave. shot a really big six pointer one time and uh I was in a drive with some with a friend invited me and I didn't know anybody else. And uh, a guy in the drive uh, unloaded on it after I shot it. I shot it through the chest, and he hit it in the leg, and it ran out in the field. He ran over and uh, claimed it. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was a really big six. It was like 130s. Oh, geez. Hey, Dave, you're on mute. <laughs> I see you keep talking. <laughs> I don't say anything. Life's better when Dave's on mute. There you go. <laughs> we just don't tell Dave the entire show, and he just sits there and talks, and he's like, <laughs> this, this, might, "This might be the first time I've seen Dave without a hat on." Yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, he looks weird. Put a hat <laughs> on. Really. Is this uh, better. There you go. Anyway. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I have I, hair though. Hey, easy. Not my, much. Uh, I had something. <laughs> my my very first. Uh, deer i shot when i was nine it was a pretty nice deer it's actually right uh let's see here this one right here it's all busted up and the mounts whatever 23 years old now but it uh i shot it and a guy after i shot it a guy um sitting like 100 yards from me shot it as it, it was running by and uh and uh rolled it um luckily he was like very like he's like i just shot it again because i didn't want you to lose and i ended up i ended up hitting it really good it just was you know he wasn't very far from me but uh i had a kind of a scare i can remember that pretty vividly when i was little um obviously my first deer but it was all good i mean i hit him him right in the behind the shoulder and he hit him right here in the neck so i could imagine what that little boy was feeling when it was actually gone you know i i have a similar story It, it wasn't it wasn't like quite like a the buck that this kid shot but it was the first deer i had ever shot it was just over three inches on the antlers so it it was legally a buck um and i, I was on public ground and i had another hunter approach my stand and he said i heard you shoot what did you shoot and i explained it to him and that was my first time actually ever tracking a deer and um I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing. And this guy, he walked me along with him. We tracked that deer. And at the time I was, I think I was 13 years old and we, we found the deer and uh, the guy was real grizzly, big guy. He had a huge beard and you know, I'm 13 years old. And he goes, you know, I found this deer. This, is, this should be my deer. He says, really? 
because he found it, you know, and that was pretty intimidating to me as a kid. So yeah, right. at, at 13, what are you going to do to him? Right. Right. You know? Yep. He was probably yeah. six, two and a large beard and just stocky as can be. So anyway, I thought I'd just share was that. He serious? But was he yeah, serious? He was serious. He was serious. Yep. Yep. That's weird. That's weird to like get you down. I thought like your story didn't end how I thought it was going to. I thought he was, like, I thought he was, I thought he was like going to, uh, like I thought he was a like, nice guy that was helping yeah, you. Like, like mentoring you. you. Yeah. yeah right, right. <laughs> Give you a oh, life lesson. Not turn out like that. It was an odd situation. Oh, that would be weird when you're say, young, Does yeah. anybody know you're hunting out here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to be just thrilled. That's the first deer I ever shot. Um, I ended up. Did taking them home, so um, we got that all worked out. But so it wasn't like the movie Airplane, where he asked if you like gladiator movies. <laughs> 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 oh man, you guys, that that went over my head. That must be uh, yeah. <laughs> that must be like a that must be like an eighties movie or something. It was, about. it was. Okay, <laughs> all right, Josh, you got to put that one on your watch list. <laughs> Airplane, pretty funny. It is pretty funny. Uh, but anyway. yeah, so we had, I don't know how much uh, y'all got into it, but we had a, we had a good time today. Um, We're doing news right now, Dave. Okay. <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it, Dave. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, it was fun. Huh? There's, there's your, uh, there's we'll your get to it. Yeah. intro. We'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was one story we were going to talk about. So, uh. Another one, this isn't a news story. It didn't come out in the news or anything, but we had a comment on the, one of the, uh, videos this week. There's a guy from Ohio that was hunting some public land. Uh, and Ohio is bow season still. Um, but anyway, he was sitting there. He wasn't very far off the, the road. I think he said, like, yeah, he, was doing, he said he was hunting like uh, um, one of those uh, like overlook spots right alongside the parking lot. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. And heard a vehicle um, pull up, you know, in the parking lot. And uh, shortly later, he heard two gunshots. And then that was the end of it. And he, uh, you know what? Maybe it is gun season in, in Ohio. I don't know. Either way, got down, got done hunting, went back to his truck, and someone shot both his tires out. Yeah, he said he heard uh, people talking. They got out of their car. They were talking. Then he heard them shoot, and he was like, what are they shooting at in the parking lot? Yeah. And then he didn't think nothing of it. He blew it off, and then he came out. I mean, he was really close. Uh, you know, and he probably could have ran out there and caught the guys, but literally, I don't know if you want to catch them because uh, – right. Right. That's yeah. a pretty shady person. I mean, you can spend time in prison for doing something like that. So, obviously, those are some pretty bad dudes. Yeah, it makes you wonder why, right? Was it, oh, yeah. you're in our spot? Or were they, and there's just so many, people can be just such wackos these days for a whole bunch of reasons. But uh, it's kind of better that, maybe it was better that he was by his stand if they were just, who knows. You know, yeah. a lot of guys are uh, putting uh, trail cameras over their uh, vehicles now. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a common thing now. Hmm. Yeah, you can. I think you can get one for your vehicle too, just like a like a motion censored camera that pops on if something happens, or if it's something if your uh, vehicle like shakes or something like that. But um, yeah, I couldn't imagine it. I, the guy you could tell in the comment, he was very frustrated because. It didn't sound like maybe he was he'd been hunting that much or uh whatever and now he has two blown tires that he has to spend whatever what are tires right now he probably has to spend freaking 500 600 dollars for two tires easily yeah depends on the vehicle yeah but yeah at least 200 right. bucks probably if you're if you're driving a pickup it's going to be a, a pickup that, yep. yeah yeah what's also terrible about it is you only have one spare so you can't even drive home yeah they're ca- they must have been calculated about what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> have you guys had when, anything uh, weird? Go ahead, Dan. When I shot the Rome Legend buck, that was uh, I think that's the buck. It was my second buck of the year. I'm not sure if that was the one or not. I think it was because it was earn a buck back then. Mm-hmm. So you could shoot multiple bucks by having shot multiple does. So I shot two bucks with my bow. Uh, both good ones. Um, and uh, two guys uh, approached Carol, my wife, while she was shopping and uh, at a gas station and uh, threatened harm to her and uh, said they were going to come burn the house down and stuff. And I mean, had her cornered and, and uh, she called me up in tears and I was like, 
call the police, you know, and I, I tried to run over there, but she's too far away. But uh, I mean, people get weird over hunting spots and stuff, you know, Yeah, pretty, pretty possessive. That made me so angry. When that happened, you know, yeah, probably a good thing. I wasn't close by because I'd have probably got myself in trouble. Yep. Oh yep. yeah. It make you turn red. <laughs> Did, uh, have you guys had? I was, I was getting ready to ask this question, Dan. Kind of already answered. Have you guys had anything like that happen to you guys, like bad experiences in parking lots or while you're out messing with the around? vehicles or anything? Yeah, I can't say I really have. No, I, I, I've never really had that happen. I haven't yeah. either. I, we had a, uh, I have a, uh, a friend here, um, locally that they got, they were on a hunting trip and someone broke into their trailer that they were using to haul their gear and stole the whole trailer hmm. all four of their i think there's four of them all four of their bows all four of their stands every single piece of the trailer got um loaded up in the back of a truck or something and they took off wow broke into it yeah but, that, that that'd run a trip pretty quick oh yeah yeah but yeah I, so I, don't, I haven't had a lot of weird things i mean i don't run into all that many people if like if there's a parking lot they have a, in an area where it's kind of defined i'll just move on right and i won't won't uh, try to do that most people generally are pretty respectful of that yeah um, there was actually one guy that um it was weekend before gun season uh i pulled in someone pulled in and left you know when they saw me there but another guy pulled up and then we wound up talking he wound up recognizing a B, the b stand he was like hey you got a b stand and uh all that kind of stuff and uh he, he even uh you know said oh weren't you in some video i'm like yeah i've been in a couple of videos but um <laughs> it's kind of funny how people see that stuff and he was an older guy probably uh i forget what he said he'd been hunting in this one area for like 35 years or whatever and he was checking the camp so it's like you know you might run into freaks but then you run it you do run into good people yeah. too so and it's such not it's easy to guys, for uh, those bad guys to stand out but there's also real good guys too i think the guy's name was great what happened to miles keller mm -mm. Miles Keller uh, was going to a, a deer show, and on this is back quite a ways, but he at the time he had the world's record for the most Pope and Young bucks, and he was taking his deer heads to a show, and while he was in the show registering, somebody stole his trailer full of deer heads, and he never he never ever got any of them back. Well, that's terrible. Um, I talked to him uh, after that, and he had said that uh, the authorities thought because he was down in Texas or something like that that he they thought that they st stole it for smuggling across the border because they kept stealing trailers for that. And they probably just dumped the heads out in the desert someplace. Really? Wow. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lifetime of hard work, blood, sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Back in those days, nobody did replicas and stuff like that. No, too. no. Well, he's, yeah. unfortunately he was the kind of, he was the one that uh, helped teach him that they should use replicas, right? You need bad, unfortunately a bad experience is <laughs> Right. Yeah, but nobody's going to replicate a 135 inch, you know, if it's just, right. you know, no, a young exactly. buck. You know, so. no. Yeah. Yeah, true. But anyway, yeah, that bad. would suck. That was like bad. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't had many, many bad experiences. I've, the only thing I've had happen is like a guy, a particular area around here, there's a guy that had like a permanent stand on public that was not very far from the parking lot. And he would sit there and he would like act like, and this is like a thousand acres, you know, and he would sit you know, in the first 30 acres of the place. And like, he would get so upset about people walking through there. I'm like, dude, you can't put a permanent stand right here and, and kind of thank you have blocked the, the rest right. of the 970 acres that are here. We and ran that, into that, that guy the other day. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but yeah, he had like a, he had a big ladder stand out there. And I was just like, oh my gosh. We, 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 uh, we were coming out of the woods and there's a, a hiking trail put through the woods for the public to hike on yeah and the guy was sitting on the hiking trail hunting and, and got upset because we walked past him and, and stormed not, out of the woods it's but he was hiking probably trail. a much better hunter than all of us because he had a deer picture on the side of his truck yeah right. <laughs> he, <laughs> but, and he, but he, he left at prime time too i mean yeah he stormed out of there, out of there. and it's not, yeah. not like we did any damage we just walked past me and, and eric like, me and eric trail. were just talking oh. It's, a, it's like a road, right? It's not a trail where you think of like a walking it's, trail, right? Yeah, it's it's, 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 gravel. Is it's fully gravel. You yeah. could fit any one of our vehicles on it. That's how yeah, wide I mean, the thing is. And he was literally like, 
two feet off of it. Me and Eric are sitting there talking away, talking away, and it's like, oh, there's a guy there. <laughs> he just came storming out of the woods. Yeah, he, he, he gave the stink eye over in our direction, I can tell you that. Yeah, he didn't look too happy. No, but he left. What time was it? That was like 3.30, right? I yeah, mean, it was at closing time, yeah. I don't think we ruined his hunt any more than he did by the spot he was sitting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't ideal. Hey, everybody. If you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.